Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Welcome to this week's vlog. We are about to leave. We're going on a trip. We're going to Detroit. Not a planned trip, mind you. This was a very, I guess, impromptu trip because we have to go to Detroit so Raph can get his passport renewed. He's taking a shower right now. It is currently like 6.30 and it's Tuesday. It's literally Halloween day and we have to leave to go to New York. Not New York. God, I wish it was New York. Like you have no idea how much I wish it was New York. But we have to leave to go to Detroit here in a few hours. So I thought that I would start the vlog for this week. So I'll definitely vlog in Detroit. I've never been. I don't know what's around, but I'm sure it'll be a really fun time. I'm already dressed. I am finishing packing up my suitcase and then yeah, I will come back to you whenever we either like get in the car or just whenever something else fun happens. we're at the hotel and I wanted to do a little room tour because this place is very nice. Apparently this one's newly renovated. We have a very nice full length mirror. We're staying at the Westin Cadillac. It's like a Marriott. It's really nice downtown and very nice mirror. And then we have a bathroom area. Let me turn the lights on in here. So here's what the bathroom looks like. And then we have a shower. This is beautiful. And then even the toilet paper is like super nicely folded. And then we have a very nice sink. And then I think this lights up. It does, look at that. This place is very nice. And it has an even like a complimentary robe. <laughs> okay, and then when you walk out, here is like the main living area. We have a king size bed and then there are two end tables. And then I really wanted a city view because I always love having views. So look, it's not like a crazy city view, but it's nice, look at that. This looks really beautiful. And then we have a TV, of course. And then this little study area. So we have coffee and a little desk. I think there is a refrigerator probably down there. But yeah, that's the little room tour. This place is absolutely beautiful. I like I knew that it would be, but I don't know what I was really expecting. But it's a very, very nice hotel. I am excited. They said that they have like a ton of restaurants inside of here and yeah I can't wait to explore and I will show you whenever we eat something because Raf said that he's really hungry so I think we're gonna go to the Italian restaurant that's right around the corner so I'll see you there here's our view from the hotel at nighttime oh my goodness I love all those lights down there. Did I ever say this in a vlog, like in like in this vlog? But I like, it's, it's nice, but there's no one out. It's like a big city, but it's a ghost town. Like there are people, but there's like no one walking around. There's like not even city noises, which is just bizarre. 
So it's very quiet. Feels like no one lives here. Does anybody know wh how, like what I mean? Not in a bad way. It's just so different. Maybe it's just because it's winter. Maybe in uh, like summer there, it's like bustling with a lot of people and stuff, but like maybe it's because it's winter that like no one's out right now. I don't know, but yeah, there's like nobody out. <laughs> but anyways, I am, I just showered, um, got ready for the night, did my skincare, all that good stuff, took my makeup off, and now I am going to watch some YouTube and probably just get ready to go to sleep. I'm so tired. We had to wake up at 6 a.m. and I didn't go to bed until like midnight <laughs> last night, so I'm very sleepy, but I'm gonna go for now and then I'll come back to you tomorrow for day two. Good morning, everyone. It's day two in Detroit and uh, my back hurts so bad. I don't know if it's because this bed maybe is not meant for like back support, but we slept for like 11 hours last night because we went to bed at 9.30 and woke up at like around 8.30ish. So we were in the bed for a very long time. So I'm not sure if it was just the period of time we were in bed or if the bed is just not very good with back support. We're up now. I feel so much better than I did yesterday. I'm gonna get ready and then I think we're gonna go down to like the area and have breakfast. So I will see you over there. We come into this little cafe and oh my God, you guys, it feels like Italy. Good afternoon everyone. It's a bit later now and we have already gone to the Italian consulate in Detroit. We had our appointment. Everything went insanely well. Like I just cannot believe how it kind of happened. So since it's an emergency situation, they literally just gave him a passport. They gave, like Raf gave him all, like gave the guy all of the information, he gave him all the forms, gave him the money order and everything. And then they had to take Raf's fingerprints. And then he explained to the guy, you know, what's going on with his mom and everything. So they were like, oh, because it's, you know, a an emergency, we'll just go ahead and give you the new passport. But you have to book the tickets to go to Italy within like a couple of days. So we're going to Italy. We're back at the hotel now. We're going to go to this Barnes & Noble because I want to go to the bookstore, of course. And then I think we're going to go to this mall, like this fancy mall in Detroit. And then I think on the way back, we're going to go to a game store that Raph wants to go to. So we'll be doing that. Then once we get back home tonight, we'll have to book tickets for Italy. <laughs> But now we're going to hop in a Uber to go to Barnes & Noble because we can't walk there. It's like a 30 minute walk and I don't want to have to do that. So it's pretty quick from an Uber. So we're going to go do that and I'll show you inside the Detroit Barnes & Noble. been done. I'll do a book haul when I get back to the hotel room. We're at the restaurant eating dinner and I'm trying Wagyu for the first time. I cannot wait. I got some mac and cheese. We have got french fries. I cannot wait for this.
morning everyone it's the next day and i kind of i'm kind of like on the floor right here because i didn't bring a tripod i forgot so i am just in front of the window and i have you like stacked on some stuff i'm sorry that the angle is a little bit odd anyways i wanted to do a tiny quick little book haul with you guys uh, while i had you here and we went to the detroit barns uh, yesterday as you saw and i picked up a few things and i honestly don't know why <laughs> I do know why because it's barnes and you know when you go into barnes how can you not buy something i don't know but i picked up a few books ones that i've been like really wanting to read so i got first icebreaker by hannah grace i have heard so many cute things about this book i honestly was not going to pick this up when i first started getting back into reading because it's a sports romance it's a hockey romance and i am not into sports However, hockey is the only sport that I've ever shown interest in. Like I have been to a hockey game. I used to follow the pred like the Preds a little bit a few years ago. So I did pick up Icebreaker. I thought it was super cute. And then after I finish this one, I'll get Wildfire. Hopefully this is as cute as everyone says it is. Like hopefully it's not bad, but I think it's really cute. The cover is also super cute. This girl over here kind of just looks like Ariana Grande. <laughs> and then i picked up another copy of babel so i have like the really fancy hardback babel copy from fairy loot but i don't want to hurt that copy i'm not even sure if i'm ever going to read that copy i think that one's only going to be for like display purposes so i picked up a paperback version of babel 2 and it has like the really cool deckled edges if you can see that they're like not even so this is also a barnes exclusive and it has like this on the inside flap and then i got this really nice fancy copy of jane eyre i have never read any kind of these like classics before so this is jane eyre by charlotte bronte and this book is really beautiful i love this hardcover edition it's really really beautiful i've heard that even though jane eyre is such an old book people nowadays still love it anyways so i'm really excited for this to read it and i just like the i like it and then i got the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes and this one is a fancy barnes and noble exclusive because it has these really cool sprayed edges but i have heard so many things about this series, The Inheritance Games. So this is the first book. It's also the one that wrote the Naturals series. So I think this book might be set in that world. I don't, I haven't read the Naturals. Ooh, that's nice. We got a key on there. That's pretty. Anyway, so I got this. And then the last thing I got, I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, you got way too much shit. And I agree. Um, the last thing I got, I'm actually using to prop you up on. So let me move you really quick. The last thing I got, I got the entire renegades trilogy i don't love to buy the entire series at one time i don't usually do this i say usually i haven't been reading for that long but even when i did read a long time ago i didn't like to buy a whole series at once and like what if you don't like it <laughs> like what if you have the whole series and you like hate the first couple of books and you're like oh well now I'm just stuck with the whole series now. But I have heard nothing but good things about these books. Like all of the Renegades copies that I saw at Barnes that was just separate, like by itself, were like in such bad quality and they only had one boxed set. So I was like, well, let me get the box set because I don't want to get copies that are like scratched and damaged and torn and stuff. And it's by Marissa Meyer, which is the same author that wrote Cinder, that, that series a long time ago. And I did read that. But anyways, that's been my book haul for Barnes. I'm gonna go get ready. And then I think we're gonna go eat breakfast. It's the next day. Did I say that? But yeah, it's the next day. I'll see you later. We made it to the mall, you guys. Look at this beautiful fountain. There's a little Chanel um, makeup boutique. And look, there's like a castle or like a something over there. Oh my God. This is so cool. We stopped at Starbucks the first thing because I really needed 
another coffee because I am dying today. I don't know what it is. Like, I slept enough. I went to sleep. Actually, I went to sleep kind of late last night compared to the night before last, but I went to sleep probably around like 11, 11.30 maybe, something like that. And I guess we did kind of wake up a little early. Woke up at like 8.30, which I don't really wake up around 8 anyway, so it's not that late for me, but I'm just dying. But we made it to the Somerset Mall. This mall is beautiful. I've never, like, it's so stunning. And it's decorated for Christmas. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Anyways, I'm gonna go and then I will show you everything and the mall. We're in Pottery Barn and guys, I'm thriving. So also, I asked Raph in Italy if they like decorate or anything. And he said they do, that in Palermo, they decorate like the center. I'm really worried because, you know, I'm not gonna be home for the pretty much of the entirety of November. So I won't get to really decorate the house for long and enjoy the decorations. And Christmas is my favorite time of the entire year. So I was worried that I wouldn't really get to experience Christmas the way I want to, you know? But he showed me the pictures of how they decorate in Palermo and it's really nice. And then if we end up going to Milan or something, they decorate a lot, but yeah. We're in Nordstrom now and I'm looking at the Marc Jacobs section. They have all their cute little fuzzy bags out. I want to see if I can find Jacquemus because that's what I'm wanting to look at. I don't know if they have a Jacquemus area or not. I would imagine they do. They have Tory Birch, they have Saint Laurent. I don't see it here yet. Maybe it's on the other side. I'm looking at luggage and they have the Bay's luggage here. And this one's kind of, I know it looks like a creamy color on camera, but it's kind of like a light brown. It is pretty, I do like it, but I actually found a different luggage in, in Macy's from London Fog. That's the name of the brand, I think. And I think I might like more. So I'm gonna go back over there and compare the two. Okay, we've come to the other side and this is definitely the fancy side. I already see Louis Vuitton down there. Oh my God, there's Cartier. This is definitely the luxury, very fancy side. So let's make our way that way. Okay, I'm in Dior. Oh, this is such a nice blue. I really like it. I'm not super into color usually, but this is a really pretty blue. So I do love, this is the medium. And if, if I were to pick one of these up, it would absolutely be a medium size, but I love this blue. And then I think the lady's gonna bring out a calfskin saddlebag for me to look at because I have been looking at that one and I think it's so so pretty. We've popped into Jay Alexander's now at the mall and I just ordered mac and cheese because I'm not really that hungry. I'm very tired and I wasn't even hungry coming in but I was hoping that eating would make me hungry but we got a side of broccoli. Raph got a steak because he loves the fries here mm. but yeah that's our lunch slash like very late lunch. Good morning everyone. It is our last day in Detroit. It's actually already afternoon. It's like almost two. Yeah, it's, it is two. Um, I'm not vlogging too much today because we're like trying to pack and get ready to go back home. We just actually went to Coney Island and I completely forgot to vlog it. But we went to Coney Island. It was really good. I have never had like a Coney Island hot dog before. So first time it was great. And then um, I think I'm just gonna hang out and read for a bit until we have to go to the airport. But then yeah, we're pretty much, we're done with Detroit at this time. I had a great time here, it was very nice. Gotta go home and then, oh my God, I have so much to do within like the week that I have before we go to Italy. <coughs> I have so much to do, it's insane. But anyways, I will check back whenever we're on the way back to the airport. We're at the airport now and you, genuinely would not have believed the traffic that we ran into on getting here. We left the hotel at like 4.30ish, 4.45, something like that, and it said that we were going to be here at 5.30. We didn't get here until like 6, 10. 
and our plane leaves at 7.30. So like I know we have enough time to get the flight. The traffic was so bad. It was so bad. We were in the Uber for like over an hour. He had to end up taking like a different route because the traffic was just bad. It's 6.45. They start boarding at 7. And I'm really scared that I'm just not even gonna get to eat or I'm gonna have to eat too fast and I'm gonna get sick. I don't know. I'll let you know when I'm on the plane.